Hi Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. Those of you who are new, my name is Raquel and those of you who are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming. Um, this is going to be a January love read for your sign. It's going to be the most needed messages in love. So this will not resonate with everyone. I will do um, singles first and then couples. And I will have the timestamps in the description box below, as well as the comments. All my disclaimers are there as well. Um, and also these are energies that I'm reading. So you can put yourself in the reading, however, it resonates the best for you. If it doesn't resonate for you, please go check out your other sign videos located here on my channel. Alrighty. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to do singles first. So spirit, my soul family, what do we got going on for the singles? All right. So we have, <laughs> Uh, finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So, um, and release your ex. So I feel like this is tied to one group of single Capricorn or no, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this is, I feel like this is tied to one group of single Aquarius. All right, so release your ex and finances and career. So some of you might be having, might be going through a divorce or some type of separation. And it's like finances and career are, are giving you a hard time with this. Um, the financial aspect of it, they're saying to release your ex, um, to go ahead. Once you release that energy, your finances and your career should, should improve is what I'm hearing. Released your ex. Some of you are still hung up on your ex. I do feel like this is a court situation here. Um, and once you release them, I feel like the court situation will go in your favor. But with release your ex, I do feel like it's for a group of you Aquarius that are really hanging on to your ex. For the other group of singles, we got very soon in playfulness. We got playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and then very soon clearly decide what you want so that you can have it now. So with two of these, it's like you need to add a little bit of spark, a little bit of playful, a little bit of flirting um, to your personality. Uh, this is going to attract in the person. This is going to attract love to you. So it's like you need to get into that playful mode, that playful vibe. We're going to um, break this down. And for some of you, I feel like this is a whole, a whole, I feel like there's a third group out there. I feel like this release your ex. It's like you need to let go of any um, emotions you have for your ex. Even if finances and career are tied up with your ex, you need to release the emotions that you have with your ex and make your intentions known on who you want. Make them known to the universe and then, you know, add a little bit of playfulness, a little bit of um, flirt flirtation into your personality. This will help bring in that person that's meant for you. Really be yourself, really shine. All right, so one more shuffle, and then I'll cover the singles. Okay, so the bottom of the, the deck, this is your overall love life situation. We've got the Hierophant. So you might be a Mr. Know-it-all or a Mrs. Know-it-all. Um, it could be that you need to seek some counseling. I do feel like your wheel is turning and any pains from the past are going to be lifted. I feel like you need to take some time to celebrate, make each day count, have fun, add a little bit of playfulness, just like what this says right here, playfulness, okay, so that you can attract that partner that you desire. Um, I feel like a new, uh, new frame of mind is what you need. A new perception, a new, a new attitude, a new way of thinking. I do feel like somebody's coming in for you. Possibly could be a Virgo or a Taurus. I do feel like it might be an Earth sign here, um, but they're coming in very slow. 
um, it's like they're evaluating everything that they've been through and everything that you've been through. So I do feel like it's somebody that you already know. It could be somebody that you know that you work with. Um, but whatever the case may be, there's valuable lessons that are being taught here with this person. Okay. There's like understanding, and this could be religious too. It could be that religious factors, it's like you're both on the same, um, you're both, the, the, the love that's coming in for, for you, not the love that you need to release, but the love that's coming in for you. It's like you have the same belief systems, you have the same morals, it's like you're on the same page with that. Um, we've got the two of wands. This is what you're coming in as. Um, I, like I said, I feel like some of you already know who it is that you want. Um, but it's you're having a hard time letting go of the past. You're having a hard time letting go of a past lover. Maybe it's like you want this new lover, but you're having a hard time letting go of a past lover. And I feel like that's what your energy is. Um, they, their energy is the nine of pentacles. So they're independent. They're very smart. They're fast think thinkers. I feel like this is Virgo energy. So it definitely could be a Virgo. Um, but I do feel like this person is very well financially off and they're independent with their finances. They are independent with themselves and they're secure with themselves. What's between you two is the page of swords. So some type of um, gossip, some type of lies, some type of manipulation here. I feel like this, that's what I'm getting off this card. It could be manipulation from your ex um, confusing you because I feel like you're confused. What's coming underneath the two of wands is the eight of pentacles. So it looks like you're working really hard on trying to figure out what is best for you. Uh, you might be working really hard on your own finances here, trying to make your own coin so that you can release this X that you're with. All right. Um, with the coming out underneath the nine of pentacles, we've got the page of pentacles. So they're ready to offer you something. I feel like they're ready to offer it to you and they've been wanting to offer this to you for a while, but it's like you're so stuck on your ex that you can't see it and accept it. I feel like you need to release your ex and, you know, extend some of that playful hearted energy to the person that um, you are also looking at. We've got the lovers right in between you influencing this page of swords. So, yeah, I feel like there there's going to be some type of communication coming in about how this person really feels about you or how, about how you really feel about this person. But I do feel soulmate-like energy here with this person. I don't feel like this is your ex. I feel like this is a new person entirely. And I feel like you need to um, to release any past burden in order to get this person okay now for another group of you out there i feel like this release your ex it could be saying that it's an ex that's coming back into your into the picture and you need to release whatever negative thought or whatever negative thinking you have about that ex you need to release the negative because they're and, and extend some playful like energy to this person because if if it's like they were bad with their finances and their career before it's like they're good now they've like they've established their own independence and they're more knowledgeable and it's like you guys will meet on the right level so there's two groups out there all right so let's get some um advice for you for single single aquariuses what advice spirit do we have for single aquarius please and thank you my soul family all right so we've got infinite abundance abundance is pouring into your life right now so you really need to take the time out to look around. You know, this is, you have a lot of people that love you. You have a lot of people that care about you. Um, you don't need to be stuck with crappy people, with a crappy ex. With, you need to release that, all right? If this ex was crappy to you, release that. Whatever burdens that you have with this ex, you need to release that, all right? Because there is infinite abundance around you. Staying focused 
holding the course, okay? This is getting your own coin. This is making your own decisions here. Um, you need to stay focused on what it is you truly want. You need to decide what it is you truly want. All right, with this right here, it's saying you need to make a choice. You need to come to that decision. And it's funny that you got you are the two of wands there. Voyage of the heart love flows through you and to you. You have what it takes. You have what you need in order to um to get this uh this love of your life, this love of your dreams, okay? You have this love. Extend this love to this person, all right? They are not like your ex. They are totally independent, um, and it looks like they want to, and they, they have your same spiritual belief here, so, or spiritual beliefs. Um, they might even enlighten you on some new ones, but it's like you need to decide. You need to decide soon. And then stay focused with the course that you're on. Okay, single Aquariuses. Well, if that resonates with you, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. And I will see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Hi, all you coupled Aquariuses. So this is going to be the love advice for the coupled Aquariuses for the month of January. So the most needed message in love. Spirit, what is Aquarius' most needed message in love? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And then we've got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So for some of you, what I'm feeling like, this is a relationship that might have been on the rocks for a while. And it's like now... You both have done the healing that you needed to do in order to move this relationship on. I feel like you've done some healing within yourselves, each of you separately. And then you've also done some healing within the relationship, okay? Um, whatever this healing issue, whatever you were healing, I feel like it has been a common thread between um, in your life. It's something that always happens, and maybe it's always happened in your parents' life and always has happened in your grandparents' life, and it's like now you you have decided to break that cycle, and you're healing that. Um, whatever you're feeling now towards your partner, those feelings are true, those feelings are real, and they're worth exploring, all right? So let's break this down with the tarot, and we'll dive into it further. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius couples. Aquarius couples for January and love. Please and thank you, my soul family. All right, one more shuffle and then I'll cut. Sorry. Um, sometimes I go silent. I like to go silent to see if I'm picking up anything. So every once in a while I do go silent during my reading. So sorry. It's for your benefit. All right. So we've got the King of Wands here. So you could be dealing with a um, Leo. Uh, it's got that Leo like energy, that happy, that passionate, that fun loving, very spiritual person here. Um, I do feel like, and look, we've got the lions there. So I feel like this is somebody who um, has a lot of strength, has a lot of um, drive and determination. This could be somebody that you're that you're with, or this could just be the energy of this of this coupled union. It's like you, the passion's there. There's a new, a whole new passion, a passion that you guys have mastered. It's like you're ready to get on with it. You're ready to be more adventurous. I'm hearing adventurous, be more adventurous in this relationship. You need to be more adventurous. We've got the Knight of Cups. We've got the Queen of Wands. So a lot of fire energy here. I wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. If you're dealing with um, an Aries or a Leo, 
or Sagittarius um, as well. We've got Capricorn here too, and um, we've got Knight is Pisces, okay? But definitely a love offer coming in. Don't be so reserved about it. Um, I feel like you're being feel like you're being restricted. Like you're afraid to hop on this, but they're telling you, you need to hop on this. You need to just go for it. Don't think about it too much. There's no more grief here. You guys are being activated. There's some type of transformation that's happening in your relationship. And it's like your stars are aligned here. Um, you're going to be more in your element. You're going to be more in yourself. There's not going to be warring of minds anymore and you're not going to feel left alone. So you need to, um, you need to really hop on this. You know, your love life has, you know, we. you're coming in as the Nine of Swords here. So some of you could be stressing, you know, having lots of anxiety about this up at night um, because you're afraid to give this person a second chance. You're afraid. Um, it's like I kind of getting that that song, should I stay or should I go? Um, but you still do have a very deep feelings for this person. It's like January is going to be like a healing month for your relationship. And, um, they're coming in as the ace of wands. So they want to offer this brand new start. They want to offer this brand new passion, this brand new drive. They've got a brand new passion for you. Um, I, I just heard, um, they see you as a sexy beast. I, I don't know. They see you as a sexy beast is what I heard. Lots of, um, oh, and so this is what's between you, some lies. So there has been some lies. There has been some manipulation between you guys. Um, it could be on your part or it could be on their part. But whatever the case may be here, there was some lies that you guys had to heal from. Um. Underneath the Nine of Swords, we've got the Emperor. So this is what's influencing your Nine of Swords-like energy. This also could be, this is um, an Aries-like energy. So um, and there was Aries on the bottom of the deck. So you could be dealing with the Aries, Aquarius. But whatever the case may be here, it's like you're trying to control the situation way too much is what I feel. I feel like you're trying to control your emotions. You're probably stuffing them down and they're rising up to the surface at night. You don't, you don't have very good control of your emotion. Now, like I said, these um, energies can be swapped. They're coming in as the lovers. So they really do genuinely love you. Um, this is a soulmate like type connection. They feel that you're their soulmate. We've got the sword down here in between them. So it's like a new, new frame of mind that you've got to switch your perception here. What's coming underneath the seven of swords is the three of pentacles. So this is rebuilding. This is rebuilding after a disaster. And I feel like, um, with the Seven of Swords, I feel like this deceit is gone. It's like you're moving past it. You're rebuilding. You're learning. Um, you're learning how to heal from the situation. You need to be more adventurous. Add some more playful time. Um, more play time to this relationship. Don't try to control it. Let go of the control. Let go of your emotions. Let your emotions out. Let your person see this. Because speaking them, it's going to help you heal. It's going to help them heal. Um, but speak your emotions in a loving way. Because if you don't speak your emotions and you keep them, you know, crowded down, this is what causes you to stay up at night. Because they all come up to the surface and then you're thinking about them. But you're not really saying them to your partner. So you need to say them to your partner. All right. So let's get some advice. For you, Aquarius, we've got answering the call all the time is now. So you have to make a decision about this. You have to make a decision about this. You still have feelings for this person. And if you truly love them and you truly want to be with them, um, you need to tell them how you feel. You need to express how you feel, not keep not keep it under cool lock and key because that's going to keep you up at night and that's going to cause some deception that's going to cause some lies between you guys okay finding sanctuary open to um opening to your spiritual source and answering the call so yeah you really need to meditate i feel 
You need to meditate on your emotions. You need to explore your emotions. See what's going on here. I feel like for you, Aquarius, there's a little bit more healing that needs to take place before, before this um, relationship can, can fully heal and fully mend. Because I feel like they're fully healed from whatever this deception was. But it's like you aren't. So you really need to um, go within, let go of that control, let those emotions come to the surface and heal those those feelings, all right? It's a family issue from the past. Wow, you're, you're reading that well. But you just need to release, let go of control. Okay, Aquarius? Well, I hope, I wish you all the very best in the love department. Um... For the month of January, if this resonated with you, please comment below. Please like, share the video, um, subscribe. <laughs> I will see you all again in my next video. Until then, take care.